Alright, so today we're going to review this uh, 2016 Triumph Street Triple R. So I want to tell you how it feels like. Is it fast? What's the suspension? Uh, especially after you know riding sport bikes for the past probably six years or so. You know, I had two ZX6s, CBR 600. You know, my, my last bike, which was my R1. And so all those sport bikes for years, and now I'm on this like naked, um, you know, different ergonomics bike. So I think uh, the first thing I felt and it was like it's one of the biggest complaints that uh, people have when they move from sport bikes like super sport bikes to bikes like this is that they feel like they don't have as much control like not really having the ability to you know put their weight where they want it to do you know load down the, the front and the back tires um, I felt that as well straight away that was the first thing I noticed uh, because you're upright you're sitting upright um, and you just don't seem to have the ability and uh, it's funny because I thought like I felt it felt stupid and the weird thing was that it wasn't just me like I was reading reviews about you know people and it's funny how they all said it feels stupid I'll tell you what the problem is it's not that it feels stupid it's just that the way that you're used to it's just that it's different the way that you're used to controlling um you know your weight and distributing your weight back and forward is different it's different to how you do it on a sport bike that's why when you're on a sport bike and then you jump on one of these you're like i can't control i'm just sitting there going for the ride but it's it's not because you can't do it it's just because you need it's different you need to learn how to do it so on a sport bike you're more hunched over and you can sort of you got a lot of weight on the front um, on your handlebars and you can sway your body the seats usually quite slippery as well on a sport bike um, so you can sway your body left to right on a bike like this where it's more upright you have to kind of ride it like you're riding a dirt bike that is you know your groin right up against the tank um, when you're coming into turns and then you know you can use some of your lower body to distribute the weight on the front on an upright bike like this you can use your lower body which is something that you, you don't do on a sport bike on a sport bike it feels more committed you know you point to where you want to turn and you just turn it feels very stable on this bike it doesn't feel as stable but um, like it's not twitchy but the bike kind of feels like it's uh, swerving around a lot more compared to uh, like a sport bike uh, my R1 was probably the most um, stable bike sport bike that I've ever ridden you know I've ridden a lot of sport bikes and my R1 just felt the most stable some people also say that you know bikes like this that are more upright um, are more comfortable but actually you know my butt hurts more um, I, I ride about one hour to go to work and back right and on this bike I can feel that my butt starts to hurt you know within that ride I'd never feel that on a sport bike um, there's a lot less weight on your butt there's a lot less weight on your back um, yes you got to engage your core muscles more but that's different to just having weight in an upright position you know on your back on your discs uh, of your spine and things like that the other thing that um, gets me is you know people assume that like because this bike is more comfortable it's more upright that people will be more used to it than a sport bike and that's not true it took me some time to actually get used to it, it took me like maybe three four rides before i actually started to get used to this that's why um i really hate it when people say oh you know go and try a bike at a dealership or something you're not going to be able to know if you like a bike by riding it at a dealership for like 10 minutes you, you, you're gonna have to ride it like several times that's why i say if you want to try something get something second hand cheap you know you know you can get a uh, resale value try it for at least try it for at least a couple of months and then if you don't like it or if you do like it then you can make your decision 
because you're not going to be able to get used to a bike within the first ride or two the other thing that I noticed on this bike is that it is not as powerful like I can feel the power difference that's not to say that it's not fast it is still fast enough for the street right like you, you can still go fast enough to get yourself into trouble but it's not crazy fast it's not like I mean I'm just coming from an R1 straight onto this right this is not as fast nowhere near as fast as my R1 it's not as fast as my ZX6R, the 2016 one, right? It's not as fast as my Daytona, even though they've got a very similar engine. It's not as fast. You know, those bikes, um, with less throttle, I can get it to move a lot faster. With this one, um, I have to use more throttle, like for the amount of throttle that I'm using, I'm not going the speed that I would have been on my other bikes. You know, this bike is probably on par with just a basic 600 up to a certain point and then again the 600 will be faster. So, it's still fast, it is very fast, but it's just not insane it's not like insanely fast like you have with you know other sport bikes which I don't know it's probably that's probably a good thing and the other thing is um, which is a good thing is it feels like it's going faster than what it really is so compared to my um, R1 which I feel like I was going slow, I looked down, I'm doing like 130k My Daytona was the same uh, Whereas this bike, like I feel like I'm going really fast I look down, I'm only doing like 90k or 100k Which is good Because it doesn't matter how a bike feels Whether it feels like you're going fast or not Reaction time, braking time, it's all the same so you're just the, the, the faster you ride the more risk it's gonna be for you also like I would have kept my Daytona but I feel like because it was tuned for higher speed it had problems you know on your day-to-day -day traffic like you know it stalled easy um, it didn't like the low revs uh, if it did stall it was it was hard to get it started again or you know a few tries and I'm sitting in pick out traffic trying to start this bike you know so that's why I like the engine uh, on this one because it's more street friendly the other thing about this bike that's different to a sport bike is the suspension so straight away um, I realized that the bike was sort of uh, bouncing back and forward um, just as I'm riding on the highway and I noticed the suspension settings were about midway like average so the difference on a sport bike is with this suspension I had to turn it up like I had to make uh, the, the suspension harder the compression and rebound by the way this uh, the R model for this bike has adjustable suspension uh, so I had to turn it up more just so that it could be at a level where I'm comfortable with like a more harder type suspension and um, but this is probably at the level of when a sport bike suspension is turned slightly to the softer side so I mean the suspension can do it it can go to a point where I'm happy with it um, you know I'm not I don't race this bike or anything like that it's just for the street so it's within the specification even though the threshold is closer to the ceiling um, it's still I can still make it do what I want it to do and it's still within the threshold even though like a sport bike could probably do more if I was demanding that from it so anyway uh, we'll just end with a Bible verse uh, and that's from Colossians chapter 3 verse 13 and it says that we need to be tolerant with one another and we need to forgive one another so if we have a dispute with anyone then we need to forgive them just how God has forgiven us and I think if there's anything that this world needs it's more like tolerance and forgiveness like there's all these wars going on in the world right I, like 
and 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 the rest of the world is just sort of letting it happen in a way like i think that the whole world needs to be more responsible for each other for the rest of the world we seem to be resolving it by taking one side and supporting underhandedly supporting one side that they can keep going in the war but that's not how you resolve disputes you know if, if like if a couple are having a dispute a husband and wife you don't resolve it by taking one side right you sit and you listen to both sides you talk you open dialogue you don't just sort of underhandedly get one side that is that person's causing division that person's causing evil when you do that right you try to resolve it you try to get both people you try to listen to both sides and that's how the world is treating wars there's a lot of wars going on in the world right we think just because it's not happening at our doorstep that we're not feeling it we are feeling it people are going crazy people are doing crazy things right this is all like um transcends the physical we don't care about other people having wars we're supporting them where we're unhandedly you know allowing them to continue right we're not result we don't have the heart of resolving we just want one side to win that's evil so anyway uh that's that's all i wanted to talk um about today um so i hope you if, if you like uh this video please hit the like button make a comment uh if you like my channel in general um i've got two playlists one is for bikes and the other one is for what i call the light path um for spiritual stuff um yeah so that's all i've got uh take it easy and ride safe